What is going on, Legion Beast? Matty Ice here from Leads for Locals. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a review request inside of Go High Level, in addition to also a referral request as well. Because if you're going to be asking for a testimonial, you might as well ask for a referral as well, because they kind of go hand in hand. So I'm going to show you some really cool but simple workflows that you can use and set up inside of go high level to get this done all right this is something that i do for uh, i set up for my SaaS clients it's really cool very easy way to ask for both testimonial and a referral all right so make sure you stick to the end got some really cool stuff in here uh, in this video for you and a quick shout out to kevin for the video request uh, so this was actually requested so if you guys have a, a specific go high level tutorials or really anything regarding digital marketing uh, lead generation whatever uh, and, and you want me to make a video on it, drop a comment down below. Let me know what that is and um, see if I can do it. All right. As usual, guys, my only ask is if you find the video helpful, please smash that like button. Check out the links in the description. Always have some cool stuff for you guys there. If you don't have Go High Level, please go through my affiliate link uh, in the description. It really does help support the channel. Make sure you subscribe, etc. All right, let's rock and roll. We need to get the basics out of the way first. Obviously, we need to go to settings and connect. Uh, integrate your Google My Business page. All right. So under settings, you're going to find integrations right here. All right. So you sign in to uh, you integrate or just log into your Google account. It'll uh, prompt you to next uh, connect to your Google My Business page. If you don't have a Google My Business page, then you simply go to google.com forward slash business. And you're going to set up a business profile just like you normally would when you create an account for your business. It's pretty simple. All right, you go through that process. They're going to send you a, a postcard with a code on it that you'll have to enter into your profile to verify it. Um, usually it takes like five to seven business days. It's not that bad. And then you're off to the races. All right. Uh, from there, you want to click on reputation management and get a couple of basic things filled out here. Now you'll see that uh, I actually have a link right here already because my Google My Business uh, profile is already connected. Yours might be blank while you're waiting for that to get set up and connected. Uh, but this is a link that you can actually use inside of your workflows. I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute, uh, where you can auto completely automate the review or testimonial request as well as your referral request. All right. But you want to make sure that you get this stuff filled out just in case you have like um, uh, one specific customer that you want to send this to. Uh, because if you click on send review request, you can actually type in your customer name. See if my profile comes up here and you can choose to do either an email or a, a text or you can do both, whatever. Right. So you, you would choose that customer name and it would send out the review request. All right. All right. But you have to have this stuff set up right here. OK, um, you can add, uh, add an image to your text if you want, maybe a GIF, whatever. You type in your text right here, click save, good to go. Same thing on the review email. You can change up the subject line, headline. Uh, this is what it looks like over here. You get a little preview. And then, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there we go. So obviously you want to change up the email message a little bit. You know, it's more, toward, like more specific towards the service that you provided them. Okay, if you enjoyed, <clears throat> you know, or thank you for your business uh, with regards to XYZ service, we really appreciate it. Uh, if you know, we'd really appreciate it if, uh, if you would just take a, you know, 30 seconds to, to do a quick review, we, we'd greatly appreciate it, whatever. All right. Obviously don't say that. Don't, don't say I appreciate it that many times. All right. But you get the point. All right. Make sure you save everything. And then, uh, that's how you would manually send a review request if you want. Now, let me show you how to actually automate this. And what I'm going to do is, uh, I guess we can, yeah, we can go ahead and you can uh, you, you can copy your review link right here. Now, let me show you the workflows that we actually have set up for my SaaS client, uh, my SaaS clients. So I'm in my the, the snapshot for my my SaaS product. And if we go to the opportunities tab, I actually have it set up as a uh, pipeline stage that whenever a client closes a deal, they can put their prospect in or their client into this this stage right here, deal funded. And it's going to do two things. It's immediately going to send out a series of emails uh, requesting that review on their Google My Business profile. And then seven days later, it's going to automatically ask for a referral. This is really powerful, guys. So let me show you what that automation looks like. Uh, so we're going to go to you're just going to find your workflows. All right. And then uh, if we go to advanced follow up, uh, let me just show you what these look like here really quick. I have them in two separate workflows just in case I want to add you know, uh, additional emails or text to either one of them. So I keep them separate. 
So close and funded testimonial, this is obviously the review request, all right? So what we do is you would basically, well, let me, let me back up a little bit. You would up here at the top right, click on create workflow. Okay, start from scratch, all right? And then create workflow. I'm just gonna show you the one I have set up here, all right? And then your trigger, your workflow trigger is going to be pipeline stage change. So you click add new workflow trigger, keep it on CRM. You're gonna find pipeline stage changed. You're gonna add filter and you're gonna do in pipeline. You're gonna find whatever pipeline it is. And then you're gonna do pipeline stage, which in this case would be deal funded. All right, so now whenever one of my clients puts one of their clients into the stage, it's gonna trigger this automation. That's how you do that, right? Now, uh, the plus sign here, um, you, I add a wait time for 10 minutes. I don't know why, to be honest, uh, just in case like they get off the phone and then they immediately uh, put them in that stage, makes it look more real, I guess. I don't know. You don't have to put wait time though. Uh, I just have a series of two emails right now and uh, they're email templates here. So let me, uh, I'll show you that here in a second, but you don't, you don't even have to really use a template. You could just click this plus sign, click send email, put your from name, uh, your from email address, which is going to be the business email address that you have connected to go high level, put your subject line. Hey, would you mind giving us a quick testimonial, something like that. And then, uh, you know, in the, in the body of the email, so I'm just going to type in review request here. All right. All you're going to do is you're going to take that, uh, that link that we copied earlier, uh, from the, uh, reputation management, uh, tab, we're going to insert link, paste that in. I'll do a new window here. We'll click save, click save action. And that's it. So when they click that link in the email, it's going to automatically, it's going to open up a new tab and give them an opportunity to leave a review request on your Google My Business profile. That's it. And then, you, I mean, you can add as many emails as you want. I've added two. I, basically, I just, I, I put the initial email requesting the review and then I wait two days just to make sure and, and then send another email, making sure that they received the last email to, to, to leave the review. All right. Uh, from there, uh, let's uh, let's go into how do we ask for the referral. So that's the review request, guys. It's, it's pretty much as easy as that. You can either do it manually <clears throat> uh, for you know one specific client if you want. You can add it to a workflow if you want. There's probably a couple, uh, honestly, a couple of other different ways to do it. But those are the easiest ways that that I've seen to do it. Uh, I, I like putting things in workflows. I think it makes it a lot easier. All right. And then <clears throat> let me show you the referral request one here. So this is a separate workflow but we're gonna use the same trigger, all right? Same workflow trigger. Again, pipeline stage change, it's gonna be that same exact pipeline stage, all right? Uh, which is deal funded. And it's gonna wait seven days. So here's what's happening, is when my client puts their client in that pipeline stage, it, uh, it waits 10 minutes and then it sends the first review request or testimonial email. It waits two days to make sure that they received the first email to review the, the business, right? From there, that that uh, that seven day time time frame uh, right here is click is 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 uh, ticket down, right? So it's going to be like after that second email, it's going to be I think four days later. They're going to receive another email and a text message this time, basically asking for the referral. Hey, first name, hope you're well. Just wanted to touch base if you knew anyone who might also uh, need help getting funding for their business. In this particular case, my SaaS product is specifically for the business loan space, but obviously make the, uh, you know customize this to your business, all right? You would click save action and you're good to go. And to add the text, all you do is hit the plus sign. Same thing as email, you would just click send SMS, write your SMS out here and you're good to go. Save action, make sure you publish it, all that stuff. Uh, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, you don't have to overcomplicate this. You don't have to use fancy email templates or anything. You can literally just create your email and, and uh, text message for both the review request and the uh, referral requests as well, right inside of these workflows. And uh, there's so many different ways that you could trigger it too. It doesn't even have to be a pipeline stage. Excuse me. If you, uh, you, you could make a tag. You can make a, uh, a request review tag if you want. And then your workflow trigger is uh, contact tag. You find that tag really quick. And that maybe that's how you trigger your workflow. You could, you could do it so many different ways. Um, Go High Level makes it really easy. So, uh, and just to recap where you get that link, uh, just to make sure that we are on the same page. Uh, if you are going to do this via workflows, so you go to settings. Oh my goodness. 
go to wow reputation management and then uh, your link is right here leave a review link right here all right and that's it guys that's how you do a review request uh, that's how you also add a request for a referral to your workflow as well which i highly recommend uh, referrals can be a fantastic source of leads for your business or for your clients or whatever and if you can automate that process it's going to make your life so much easier all right so uh hopefully uh, you found this video helpful again if you did please smash that like button leave a comment down below with any questions or feedback or anything else you want me to go over all right uh, make sure you join the facebook group all that good stuff uh, hope you guys are crushing it so far uh, in this new year and i will talk to you in the next one peace